Any international project endeavor presents a challenge to provide the most effective solutions for the complex logistics involved. The geographical limitations of a project located on an island nation only magnify the importance of creating an effective logistics plan, especially in the case of executing an efficient on-site production facility. RW was presented with such a challenge when awarded the precast modular cell package for Her Majesty's prison in Barbados. The Rotondo Wyrick pre-construction and operations teams set out to mobilize an entire manufacturing facility from the domestic United States to Barbados, an island nation located 1,600 miles southeast of Miami. Rotondo Wyrick is the only precast module manufacturer in the country with the capacity to execute the scope of work and logistic coordination involved with this type of project. A typical RW on-site manufacturing facility is centered around two to three steel quad forms weighing close to 50 tons each. For the Barbados Prison Project, the module forms were shipped from both the east and west coast of the U.S. to the port of Miami, loaded onto a cargo vessel, and sent over a six-day ocean trip to the port of Bridgetown, Barbados. In addition to the modular forms, for mobilization of a standard RW facility, it was necessary to ship RW's 70-ton straddle crane and mobile fabrication shop. The RW Fabrication Shop is a self-contained, fully operational mini-facility equipped to perform all required form assembly and modifications. This mobile factory was transported from an RW facility in northern Texas to the port in Miami for the freighter shipment to the island. The logistics coordination did not stop at the 250 tons of capital equipment shipped overseas. It was also necessary to ship all project components, such as cell furniture, doors, frames, plumbing fixtures, and paint necessary for the production of the precast modules. All items were shipped from domestic U.S. suppliers, coordinated into 40-foot ocean-worthy project containers, and secured to the cargo vessels for overseas transport to the island project location. Working in the fast-track U.S. business environment, we become accustomed to the availability of sending items for delivery overnight. If an item is needed for production, most times ordering, shipping, and receipt can be completed within a 24-hour period. This was not the case working in Barbados. Throughout the course of the project, every member of the production and management team had to focus on planning their project needs four or more weeks in advance. Due to the strict attention to scheduling and inventory, RW never missed a production day due to lack of materials. Successfully navigating the requirements of overseas shipping and customs processes was critical to the success of the production schedule. RW's on-site manufacturing model provides an efficient and time-saving method of construction for our clients. Having the cell module produced adjacent to the project site also provides an increased level of communication and collaboration between RW, the client and general contractor, as well as streamlines trade coordination. With any new project, RW's pre-construction team designs a manufacturing facility to meet the needs of the scope of work and satisfy inventory requirements. With RW's on-site casting model, especially in the case of the Barbados project, geography and environmental concerns also contribute to the site design process. Due to the prevalent high daily temperatures in Barbados, a project and location-specific site plan was developed to provide a flexible facility for both daylight and nighttime casting. Once site plans were finalized, work began to bring the design from the paper to a fully operational facility. An RW manufacturing facility requires a parcel of open space capable of complementing the level of production. The facility is divided into two general sections, production area and inventory area. The production area consists of a large linear concrete slab, inclusive of all forms, steel reinforcing cage production and storage, concrete delivery and pouring area, and a finish operation area. Utilizing a plant that pours three module forms, this concrete slab is typically between 600 and 800 feet in length. Prior to installation of the concrete slab, the land must be leveled and compacted. The slab is formed directly on the ground, 
and the surrounding grade is brought to the edge once the slab is cured and stripped. Once the casting process is complete, the slab can be incorporated into the finished project parking area, or if the casting facility is located off-site, the slab can be used for future building. The surrounding areas of the slab, running parallel and typically 50 feet wide on both sides of the slab, are also leveled and compacted. This space is used for material storage containers, material prep areas, and general operations. The inventory area of the plant consists of a large open area, again, dependent upon the size of the inventory required to be stored at one time. The area, just as in production, must be leveled, compacted, and prepared for storage of modules, as well as travel of the crane. Once the site has been prepared, RW's fabrication team begins setup of the steel modular forms. The fabrication team and production supervisors collaborate on the final adjustments to the forms to create the most efficient and effective transition between pre-construction and production. On a typical project schedule, each form produces one module per day. This process requires that all forms receive reinforcement cages, electrical conduit, and any cast-in items such as door and window frames, furniture and fixture connection embeds, and structural connection sleeves prior to pouring concrete. Each form has its own production team assigned to complete this process each day. Managed by a production supervisor, the teams hand off the staged forms to the pour crew. Once the modules are poured, the tops are finished and set to cure for a period of approximately 12 to 15 hours. The facility is equipped to provide the optimal environment for the curing process. A module will reach a minimum of 2500 PSI before it is removed from the form the following morning. At the start of the next shift, the production team strips the form, removing the module and placing it in the finish area of the facility, preparing to restart the process for the next day's pour. During the entire process, the quality control teams work alongside production and finish to ensure all modules meet or exceed the standards and requirements set forth by the project specifications. Once in the finish area, the modules are cleaned, the interiors are painted, and furniture is installed. Each module receives the appropriate bunks, desks, lighting, and fixtures prior to leaving to being placed in inventory. The modules are moved to the inventory yard where the quality control team performs another check of modules, labeling each completed unit as ready for installation on the job site. As modules are produced in RW's casting facility, the general contractor is simultaneously preparing the project site. Once the site is ready, RW coordinates with the GC to schedule mobilization of the modules from the casting facility inventory to the project site. A typical delivery schedule during a mobilization is five days per week, hauling a minimum of 16 loads per day. Coordination is required between the casting facility team and the project site team to ensure the most efficient delivery of modules. Erection of modules on the job site is also coordinated with any necessary external panel installation. Erection of the modules includes placement of each unit on the site slab, structural pin connections, and any additional seismic connections. Each module and connection is welded or grouted as specified. Complete furnished housing modules are erected in a matter of weeks, reducing the need for complex on-site trade coordination and saving valuable construction time. After all modules were erected, the general contractor was able to complete necessary in-cell utility connections and surrounding structure and interior work. Rotondo Wyrick's Barbados Prison Project showcases the efficiency and broad geographic application of the on-site casting model. RW brought speed of construction and the convenience of fully outfitted modules to a location limited by island geography. Even with such a large logistics scope, RW produced, finished, and delivered all modules on schedule, providing the fast-track solution desired by the client. RW's modules are produced to meet not only the highest quality standards, but to withstand extreme weather conditions, maintain long life cycle durability, and provide a sustainable, lead-friendly solution to the correctional industry's construction needs. Rotondo Wiring. Best quality. Best price. Best way.